Jack Mills wrong? Now I'm going to cry again. And I want y'all to say, what's wrong, JJ? All right, y'all got that? Showing they ass. R. Kelly. The only thing that make me mad about R. Kelly is that none of his songs is reflecting the charges. He up on rape charges, he's still writing rape songs. Girl, you wanna come to my hotel? No, Robert. I heard you peeing at the hotel, son. Take zero on that one, buddy. <laughs> Dancing around in the video with a mask on. Should have wore that shit in the other video. That's what you... <laughs> Try to get smart now, nigga, we know it's you. O.R. Kelly, that's a fucked up situation. Everybody need help. The, the mama need, the parents. R. Kelly, the key, everybody need fucking help. That's how that situation go. I know when R. Kelly went to jail, that nigga that was in there singing all them motherfucking and all them singing contests was mad in the motherfucker when he walked in there. This nigga been winning all these Christmas contests and shit, and R. Kelly come up in that motherfucker, hum rum pa pum pum. Black music blowing up though, it's all over the place. I had a chance to go to France. I was over there in Paris chilling. They was like playing black music and they be, they get it and they be a little late and they be in French. Everybody, people like R. Kelly over there singing in French. I'm like, damn, I ain't even know R. Kelly knew French. That nigga blowing. They over there blowing too. Do Jimmy Pill, Jimmy Clum and T. Trey Voo. Nova do Jimmy Fair, Jimmy Clummy, T. Trey Off up in college. You got to get my point here. Certain things you can't translate. That's all I'm saying. It's certain shit you just can't translate. And off up in college is one of them. Any, anytime somebody off up in some shit. You know, right there, you know she ain't graduate. Right there. She off up in college? Come on, bring your ass on home. Come on now. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody got money for that. I work too hard down there. You just down there off up in some damn college. Come on now, shit. Uh-uh. Well, okay, R. Kelly is different. I mean, you know, if I'm a betting man, I'm gonna put my money on. He probably did that shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did that shit. You know, it was bad, okay, so a couple years ago, I was doing a show in Detroit, and I'm sitting backstage in my dressing room, a friend of mine comes by, this chick, Dream Hampton. Dream uh, tells me, right before I'm going on stage, she goes, Dave, I'm working on a documentary on, about R. Kelly. Would you like to be in it? And I was like, nah, bitch, I'm cool. <laughs> I went on stage, I just forgot about the shit. And then two years later, the documentary comes out, Surviving R. Kelly, and when it comes out, Dreams promoting and shit, and she keeps bringing me up. She said, I asked Dave Chappelle to be in my documentary, and he said it was too hot for TV. Bitch, I did not say that. <laughs> it does not even sound like how I talk. Oh, that's too hot for TV? I would never say that shit. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you guys why I wasn't in the documentary. It's a very simple reason, and uh, I cannot stress this point enough. The only reason that I didn't do it was because, and it's very important, I don't know this nigga at all. I don't know anything. I don't know anything that they don't tell me about. I don't hang out with this nigga, nothing. So what the fuck do I gotta be in the documentary for? This guy, R. Kelly, got another sex tape out now. Can you believe that shit? This guy makes more sex tapes than he does music. He's like the DJ Khaled of sex tapes. Another one. Like, damn, man. It's a lot of tapes. 
The new one's so bad that they didn't even show it. I've never seen anything like this. The prosecutor in Chicago came out in a press conference and read to the media a transcript of a sex tape. Have you ever heard of such a thing? This nigga read the sex tape. And it was so bad that R. Kelly sounded guilty in the transcripts. It's fucking amazing. 16 times the girl's age was mentioned. Isn't that crazy? This motherfucker is an idiot. He was fucking like, yeah, this is the best 14-year-old pussy I've ever had in my life. And she was like, you like this 14-year-old pussy? He's like, oh yeah, I love this 14-year-old. I'm like, man, you need to shut the fuck up. You gotta give your lawyer something to work with. You're supposed to be on the tape like, this is the best 36-year-old pussy I've ever had in my life. And then your lawyer gonna be like, your honor, clearly my client thought that this woman was 36. As he mentioned some 16 times in the tape. <laughs> they gonna know you lying though, you know what I mean? Everybody knows no such thing as good 36-year-old pussy. But R. Kelly, it's hard to watch R. Kelly. R. Kelly make it, it's hard, y'all, it's hard. I, and I like R. Kelly, that's my man, but damn. I mean, you know, I seen the tape, I, I got it in my room. Um, <laughs> When, you, when you've seen this sex tape and you go to the concert, you can't enjoy the music because now when you hear it, the music, you hear shit you didn't hear before. You be like, oh, shit. Like you hear your favorite songs. All R. Kelly music got double meaning to it now when you really listen to it, right? Your favorite song, you know, it'd be like, um, my mind's telling me no, but my body, my body. I don't want to hurt nobody. <laughs> but there's something I want to confess. I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. I'm like, I bet you don't. <laughs> Every song is like that. Seems like you're ready. <laughs> Pretty girl, are you ready? to go all the way. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? All his songs is like that, right? I hear you calling, here I come, baby, to save you, oh, oh. <laughs> Why you gotta say, oh, oh? <laughs> baby, no more stalling. These hasn't been yearning to touch you, baby. Woo! <laughs> now that you come around, seen it my way. <laughs> you won't forget it, baby. You truly won't forget it, baby. It's unbelievable how your body is calling for me. Shh. He going to jail. <laughs> he nasty. And the one song that I really liked that I thought was cool, I mean, I didn't even know it had a double meaning to it. I just was listening to it. You know that, can I get that tutu? Can I get that beat? Oh, that was my joint. I'm like, yeah, way to go, R. <laughs> but that joint is crazy, too. Y'all don't even know what y'all beeping to. When you listen to it, he tell on himself in that song, too. You know, he be like, um, I usually don't do this, but, um, I'm about to bring y'all out with a little bit of remix. I'm not trying to be rude, but hey, pretty girl, I'm feeling you. The way you do the things you do reminds me of Alexis Coop. That's why I'm all up in your grill. Trying to get you to a hotel. Must be a football coach. The way you got me playing the field. Can I get that tutu? That pee He going by the school. R. Kelly pissed on his victim. I know, it was rough. But I mean, again, I can't even judge R. Kelly. First of all, we don't know if these allegations are true or not, even if they are true. If you want to know how I feel about it honestly, if a man cannot pee on his fans, I don't want to be in show business anymore because, well, that's why I got in the game, baby. I got dreams too.
You guys are confusing the issue. Why you guys are busy worrying about if R. Kelly even peed on this girl or not? You're not asking yourself the real question that America needs to decide once and for all. And that question is, how old is 15 really? Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I'm not saying that a person is as smart as they're going to be at 15. That's not what I'm saying, man. But I am saying 15 to me is old enough to decide whether or not you want to be pissed on. I mean, that's me. If you can't make a decision like that by the time you're 15, then just give up, motherfucker, because life is way harder than that. I make tougher decisions all the time. If you don't want to get pissed on, just get the fuck out of the way. It's not even a decision. If I start peeing on the front row, they're not gonna have to calculate and think, oh, how do I feel about this? Am I okay with it? They just move. You can do that at 15. I, I could have. I've been 15. When I was 15, I was doing stand up in nightclubs. I smoked reefer from time to time. Friends were selling crack. I was trying to finger fuck people. I knew what was happening around me to some degree. Getting pissed on was the least of my worries at 15. That's all I'm saying. So I'm gonna tell you right now, if somebody comes in here and puts a gun in my head and says, Chappelle, you got a choice to make. You're either going to jail for a month or we'll let you go, but you gotta let R. Kelly pee on you. <laughs> I'm not hesitating. Bring in R. Kelly and tell him to stay away from my eyes. <laughs> I'd rather get pissed on on the outside than fucking the butt on the inside, so. I can't go to jail with some smooth Botox balls and think everything's gonna be all right. It's not that kind of place. Take my chance with that piss. Piss will wash off with a 10 minute shower, I'm certain of it. This piss coming right out. What can I do? They're gonna put me in jail. He up on rape charts and he's still writing rape songs. Girl, you wanna come to my hotel? No, Robert. I heard you peeing at the hotel, son. Huh?